This is a Boogaboo Fox, and today we're going to show you how to disassemble the rear housing uh, in order to get at parts of the brake uh, mechanism that are lower down, not the on-off switch, but everything lower down that uh, locks the brake system actually against the wheel. Um, or, more likely, in order to, uh, so that you can clean out this whole assembly. Uh, so in the past, a lot of uh, Boogaboo models have had a very sort of simple elegance uh, in the way all of their parts work together. Um, they've used as few parts as possible uh, in very robust constructions. I really feel with a Boogaboo Fox as though some designer in Boogaboo just really loves the process of uh, designing small, intricate, interlocking plastic parts uh, with lots of different faces on a computer and then watching them be uh, produced on a 3D printer so that he can put it all together like some large Rubik's Cube. Uh, if you look at a Boogaboo Chameleon, it's a very simple, very elegant brake system. And now I'm gonna show you what the Boogaboo Fox is like. And uh, my guess is that over time, since they advertise this as a terrain capable stroller, um, you're gonna get a lot of people who are gonna get sand and pebbles and so on into this mechanism and are gonna need to disassemble this so that they can clean those out and re-lubricate this. So, I'm gonna start the disassembly then. So first thing you're gonna to need to do is to remove the locking pin. In order to remove the locking pin, you take a flathead screwdriver, you press it down right here between these two plastic um, struts at that little white piece, pop it in, and then you can pull off the entire locking pin as such. Second, you're going to need to uh, screw off the brake pin. this and then you need to remove these four screws right in the center so if you're a little bit familiar with the uh, chameleon or the buffalo if you've looked at any of our videos on the brake systems of those or if you've had one yourself and you have not seen the inside of a fox I think you're gonna be a little bit amazed what they've done with a system that should be, in my opinion, really simple. Okay, after removing those screws, you can now pull out on this little portion of the housing behind that separates a bit, and it can take a little bit of force. You might need to use a flathead screwdriver as well. But you can pull this out, and there are gonna be a lot of pieces that are gonna come out with this. Okay, so. As you can see, this is made up of quite a few pieces with a lot of springs and little interlocking bits. And uh, if you've gotten a bit of sand, if this, this whole construction here is not functioning properly, it could mean that you've gotten some kind of sand inside. So you'll want to wash down, wipe down any of these pieces. And then you can use a uh, silicone spray and just give each piece A good spray as well as inside of course that housing uh, channel itself okay in order to then reassemble this to put it back into place you're gonna take these two pieces and this spring on this piece is gonna lock onto this small pin here and at the same time, this width here has to fit into this channel. If you press it down far enough, the uh, little lip here will sort of half lock under there. It won't be entirely locked until you put it all inside that channel again on the chassis. Then this pin here fits right into this screw and this makes the entire piece. This little red and black is that little indicator uh, panel which shows you whether the brakes are on or off. Okay, holding it like this then, you're gonna want to slide it all back inside that uh, housing mechanism. There you go, press it in tightly, and then it's just a matter of uh, reversing the process of screwing 
the whole thing back together. So in any case, that is how you disassemble the rear wheel housing of a Boogaboo Fox in order to clean out all of the components and uh, perhaps use a little bit of uh, silicon to lubricate them properly. Uh, this will deal with any sort of problems related to, in particular, the brakes not functioning, uh, perhaps after going through sandy terrain, something like that. We hope this video has been useful to you, and if it has been, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.